comm check. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlow, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you're looking for a piece faster, I've got something for you right here. I'd need scanning equipment to find it, Heist. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. What's up guys, everybody here, and we are back with some more alien isolation, and <laughs> this mission, this is probably the best mission in the game, and there will be a lot of theory crafting in this video. There you are. Foster, Meeks, keep your eyes open. Roger. We are on LV426, and if you haven't seen the original movie, the first alien movie, Go and watch it right now because you won't be able to really appreciate this mission unless you see the movie. Now, as far as I know, only colonial marines gave you the chance to uh, explore this place, you know. But since colonial marines is a pretty bad game, let's just forget about that, okay? <laughs> so, this is the place where the engineer ship crashed. Now, before I talk about that, who are the engineers? The engineers are an extraterrestrial race with really advanced technologies. And in Prometheus, they say that they created the humans. Lewis, have you managed to decode the signal yet? Can't tell what it is. That's good. If it's a mystery, then it's unknown. If it's unknown, then it could be valuable. This could be our biggest haul, Marlo. Could be. Okay, I already hate these guys for interrupting me, but what I was trying to say is the engineers created humans. Well, at one point, the engineers decided to attack humans. They decided to kill everyone. They failed, obviously. But, I would like to know why. We don't know why, but we know when. I'll have a look around, see if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. These guys. Okay, so we don't know why the engineers wanted to kill humans, but we know, we kind of know when. Now, the events from Prometheus are in 2094. And when they find the engineer's head, they say it's about 2000 years old. Gonna need a lift. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. What happened about 2000 years ago? Jesus happened, right? Now, this is obviously my theory. This is not a confirmed fact or anything. I found a path. Check it out. What if you don't come back? Then you wait some more. As I said, this is just a theory, a theory of mine. And I, like to, and I like to think this. Um... The engineers created us, right? And... Oh, fuck. They're going to interrupt me again, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. This way I... won't rage. Yeah, I'm good. It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch yourself, you hear me? Okay, so, as I said, 2,000 years ago, Jesus happened. Okay. And what happened with Jesus? Where, well, the, the Christian rel religion became a lot stronger and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know that Christian religion is not the only one out there. And I know about, you know, there are different religions and religions were pretty popular Stay even put. before Jesus. I think I found something. What I like to think is that Jesus was the last drop, you know, it was that thing that made the the whole kill humans uh, thing trigger. They were like, okay, there's a fissure in the rock. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. We created you, but instead of praising us, you are praising all these random gods. Be it the Muslim god, be it the Hindu god, be it Christian god, whatever you want. So. That's what I like to think, you know, they decided to kill us because we didn't acknowledge them as our gods, as our creators. So, 
this is my opinion on why the engineers decided to kill humans. Now, let's back, get back to the ship. Let's get going. Follow me. I will need a lift right here. I already Hi, saw over that. Here. Give me a leg up. So, let's get back to the ship. When did the ship crash on this satellite? Well, we don't know. But I like to think that it was way before the engineers decided to kill humans. Why do I think like this? Why do I think this? And again, this is just a theory. It's not a confirmed fact or anything. I like to think this because, well, in Prometheus, you see, holy shit, the ship, man. Okay, so in Prometheus, you see the black goo. And I think that the black goo is an upgrade from the xenomorphs. Now, let's see, what do, I, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? Oh, okay. Alright, what I was trying to say before the loading screen. I was trying to say that the black goo is an upgrade from the xenomorphs. Why do I think this? Because, well, they do the exact same thing, but they are more effective, they are smaller, and they are just as lethal, right? So, I like to think that the xenomorphs are an old technology created by the engineers. And they were, they were used to fight other races, be it the predator race, be it something else, I don't know. Or maybe they were making deals, business with the predators, with that race. Right now I can't remember the exact name, it was something like Yutia, Yutia, something like that, I don't know. But what I was trying to say is, if you remember in the first Alien movie, uh, I mean in the first Alien vs. Predator movie, they explain that the Predators used Xenomorphs uh, for training, you know, you, they would kill them and all that kind of stuff, and only after that they were considered, you know, uh, good fighters and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is the ship. I really want to look at the details. So, we don't know uh, why the Xenomorphs were created. Well, we know they were created as a weapon of mass destruction, but we know, don't know for who, you know, against who. So, I like to think that the Xenomorphs were not created against humans. They were created for someone else. What the hell do you think we're gonna find? something big yeah so as i said they were created for someone else and the black goo from prometheus is just an upgrade as i said it's just as effective and it's smaller it's easier to spread and all that kind of great stuff and yeah uh, th these are the reasons why i think that the black goo is just an upgrade instead of a different technology Man, man, really? Oh my God. Holy fuck! Holy shit! Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship? Ha <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet! What? You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can it? We're wasting time. Have a look around. No. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. The Anishador is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. We're not gonna like this. What is it? Tracks lead here. The same name that's on the flight recorder. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. Well, if they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. Okay, so before I proceed with the mission, uh, this is 
one of the engineers. He is an engineer. And as you can see, it has a hole in his chest. Now this is one of those things I don't have an answer for. Obviously something came out of there, be it a xenomorph or... I don't know, I think it was a xenomorph, but... Where is this xenomorph, you know? And how does it look like? I would like to know all these things, but there are no real explanations on the forums or, you know... There's, and no, there's nothing about this, there's nothing really about that. Uh, what I think is this guy was, you know, moving the cargo with Xeno X from point X to point Y. Now, I don't know where he was moving all this, and I think he was moving all uh, the, the, you know, the ship from LV223. I think that's the um, number of the, of the uh, satellite from the Prometheus movie. So that's what I think, but I don't know where, what was the destination for this ship and its objective. As I said, I don't know if they were sending these eggs to, to the predators or they were trying to attack the predators, predators with this, I don't know. So I would really like to know what happened here, you know. And if you have any ideas, if you have your own theory or there are confirmed facts just let me know in the comments i i would really love to hear that so let's let's keep going and as they said i have to disable the beacon now this makes a lot of sense uh, in the first movie this is remember this is 15 years after the fu uh, first movie and other than ripley and her crew no one got to the you know on the ship in these 15 years or even before at least for what we know and in the second movie the company wasn't able to find this ship they found it randomly now this will explain a lot of things because you are going to you know disable the beacon and they won't be able to find it in the second movie i really like this connection and it makes a lot of sense i really love this one who wrote this, you know, the whole plot of this game is a genius. Uh, I really Beaks. like it. I found the beacon, I'm gonna check it out. So yeah, here's the beacon, I'm, I'm gonna disable the beacon and make it pretty much impossible, almost impossible for the company to find it 35 years from now, when the events of the second Alien movie happen. Don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Rana, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. Okay, so I guess they found a way to get down to the to the eggs. So yeah, uh, this mission is is great, and I, I'm sorry, my, my English is terrible, so I'm not able to tell you everything I know and the way I would like to say it. You know. Uh, <laughs> If I tried in Italian, I would maybe, you know, uh, be able to say a lot more stuff. The problem is, no one, pretty much no one of you would understand me, so that's kind of a problem. But yeah, I, I'm trying really hard to make this, uh, make this video interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of have a small script. It's not a script, but you know, I have the basic points of what I want to talk about, because usually when I play games, I want to talk about a lot of stuff, but then when I play, I just forget. So for this mission, I made a little script. And there are a few things I really wanted to talk about. And it's not that I'm out of uh, things to talk about, but, you know, uh, there are a lot of things. And I don't want to spoil all the movies. I really want you to watch the movies and enjoy them because they are great. Uh, you should really watch the movies and all that kind of stuff. And maybe even read the books. I really want, would like to read the books. I'm gonna get at least the first one today. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna buy it today. Yeah. Holy shit, man. I wonder if I'm able to find the oh my God. the opened egg that attacked Kane. I think his name was Kane. The the I might be wrong. I haven't seen the movies in a pretty long time. But yeah. As I said, in my opinion, this is all technology and it wasn't made to fight, you know, to kill all the humans. The black goo was uh, created for that. I think this is this was again someone else. Be it the predators, be it other, some other race, I had no idea. So yeah, let me know in the comments your theories and what you think about my theory? That would be very nice. Let's see what happens now. 